what's poppin' my dudes? So basically, I've seen an entire five people on one team go cold in the first five seconds of the game because the other team had Heart Crusher. So I decided to go into the lab and see what all this is about. According to YouTube analytics, only about 3% of my viewers are actually subscribed. So if you're not subscribed and you like these type of videos, please consider subscribing. It would mean a lot to me and these videos do take a long time to make. It's literally free. You can always unsub if you want. Thanks for all the support. Let's get right into this video. So to see exactly how overpowered this badge is on each badge level, we had to bring out the test dummies. But before we actually show you the test results for this, let me explain exactly how this badge works. So anytime you get a steal or a block when you have this badge on, it reduces the entire other team's takeover by a certain amount. Also, keep in mind, normally whenever you get a turnover in this game, you're going to lose takeover. So, to make this controlled, we made sure the person getting blocked or stolen from was not the person that we actually recorded the data from. So, as you see here, I'm just building up some takeover. And then the person on my team, Teo, he's going to be the one that's actually getting the turnovers, so then you can see how much my takeover drops. That way, we don't have the inflation of the actual turnover dropping his takeover more. So, we're going to do a steel and a block for each badge level now this is bronze right here v film has bronze all right bronze heart crusher now you saw how much the takeover dropped for steel and now you're going to see how much it drops for a block now it's not crazy but it's a decent bit also keep in mind that teo here he's losing a lot more than i am this is just when i don't have the ball the entire team is losing this next we're testing silver heart crusher with a steel and a block tcg jalen here has silver heart crusher on so he's going to be stealing the ball and blocking Mateo. Now surprisingly, Silver actually doesn't look like it gives that much more than Bronze. I will also put a compilation of all of these at the end here. But next up is the block. So here is Silver Heart Crusher whenever your teammate gets blocked. So next we hop into another game and this time Film has Gold Heart Crusher and Jalen has Hall of Fame Heart Crusher. So we're going to do the same thing with steals and blocks starting with Gold Heart Crusher with steals. So, as you can see here, gold's a little bit better than silver, as expected, but it's kind of hard to tell because the takeover starts at different places each time, which is why looking at the schematic at the end will definitely help. Next up, we have blocks with gold heart crusher. As you can see, it's basically the same as the steel, so we'll move on. Now, we get to Hall of Fame. Now, Hall of Fame is actually pretty insane. Now, keep in mind, if you're playing 5 on 5, this happens to the entire team whenever you get a block or steal. So, this was the steal. And now on to the block with Hall of Fame Heart Crusher. Now just looking at my takeover bar, it looks about the same as the steel. You're literally losing a third of your takeover bar. That's insane considering I didn't do anything. He's the one that got blocked. Everybody else on the team loses a third of their takeover bar. But let's show you guys the actual statistics. So as you can see here, these are the exact screenshots of my takeover bar before my teammate gets stolen from or before my teammate gets blocked. So I can confirm by looking at these pictures that steals and blocks are the exact same. You lose the exact same amount of takeover for each. Now, every single person on your team is going to lose this. The person that gets stolen or blocked is going to lose a little bit more because they actually have the turnover. Now here is what I estimate to be the percent of the takeover that you actually lose from that. And as you can see, bronze starts out at 10%, which is pretty good for bronze. And Hall of Fame is all the way up to 30%, which is a third of your takeover almost. And that is actually insane. So my takeaway from this badge is that it's it's cool to have on bronze. I wouldn't necessarily get a silver because it's only a 5% increase. So if you do want to get an increase, go all the way to gold. It's a lot more for gold than it is for silver. And then of course, Hall of Fame will maximize if you have enough badges for it. Now, obviously there's other badges that take priority. And obviously I wouldn't recommend doing this unless it's in a mode with a lot of players. 5v5, 100% you should use this badge. 3v3, maybe, if you actually have the badge points for it, I would definitely not recommend using it in 2v2. It's just not worth it, unless you're a pure lock with 30 badges, then go ahead. That's pretty much it for this badge test. Let me know in the comments what badges you would like me to test next. I'm going to be doing these all year, and join my Discord if you would like to run with me, or maybe even try out for TCG, or be in a video. I'm looking for people to do all of those things. You can also find competitive matchups in there. Link is in the description. And, yeah. Like the video if you like the video subscribe if you're new and i'm out bro peace